Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. My name is Kim Murdoch and you're watching Arts Hub Online. Today for our craft, we're gonna be making something that's really cool. This is an Egyptian necklace. It has a scarab beetle on it. And this is something that is really cool to make, but it's also fun to wear. So you can make something like this, wear it around the house and pretend you're living in ancient Egypt. We're gonna do this together slowly, one step at a time. And in just a few minutes, I'll tell you what all the steps are and what supplies you need. So what do we need for today's craft? We need a paper plate. This is just a plain paper plate. It's uncoated, which means it's not waxy on the top. If you have one like that, it's okay. You're gonna use the bottom of the plate anyway. You also need some tape. This is masking tape. You can use whatever kind of tape you have. You don't even need glue for this project, but you do need a pair of scissors and you need something to write with. So I'm using a Sharpie, but if you have something else, that works just fine. You do wanna have some markers. So that's really all we need for this craft. And I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to gather your supplies, and when we come back, we'll get started. It's time to get started. So before we do that, I just want you to see this. How do we go from a plain old paper plate to a cool Egyptian necklace? The first thing we have to do is remove the center from our plate. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'd like you to take your plate and make sure it's the, uh, upside down in front of you. So when it's upside down in front of you, you can see that it's a little bit um, raised. So we're gonna take whatever we're drawing with and we're going to draw a line around the base of our plate. There is already a line here. All you have to do is use your marker to trace that line. So I'm gonna open up my marker and I'm gonna start drawing on this line and if I accidentally go off the line, for example, if you were to have a line that was extra, you could always turn the extra line into something else because we're gonna be drawing designs on our necklace anyway. You can turn extra lines into cool designs. So now we have this shape and we are going to cut it out. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut down to that line we drew, okay? So I stopped at the line. I'm gonna turn my scissors now, and I am going to very carefully cut on that line. It gets easier as you go around the circle. I'm just gonna hold on to my plate very carefully and keep on cutting and keep on cutting around and around, just like this until we have a circle. We're gonna need this circle later so that we can draw our beetle. Okay, you can see how the beetle came off a circle that size. So we're gonna save this, but now we have this part. This is the necklace part. And so what we're gonna do first is decorate this just a little bit. So what I'd like you to think about is using a, I'm gonna use a Sharpie, but maybe you would use a dark marker, like a black marker, or just, just whatever colors you want. I'm gonna use the Sharpie first. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start drawing some cool designs. And you can draw whatever kind of designs you want. But what I want you to do is consider it like um, creating a pattern. So for example, you can see them starting by drawing these lines on my necklace. And each line ends in a little circle. And that is the beginning of a pattern. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. And when we come back, I'll show you all my patterns on my necklace. All right, now that you have decorated your necklace, I just wanted to show you a couple examples that I made. So here's one that has a lot of detail. Here's one that has less detail. I just want you to notice that they both look great and when you put color on them, they'll look even better. We're gonna do that a little bit later. For now, we need to work on the beetle part of our necklace, this thing right here. So you should still have this handy. This is the inside of the plate. This is the white part of the plate. So before we do that, I wanna talk a little bit about this beetle. This is not any ordinary beetle. So in ancient Egyptian culture, the scarab beetle was a symbol of protection and good luck. And they were very special. And so only the most important people had jewelry that had scarab beetles on them. So the pharaohs, for example, like King Tut, you may have heard of, he had scarab beetle jewelry. And so the scarab beetle was something that was there, like I said, to give him protection and good luck. 
I just thought that was really cool and that maybe we could have that for ourselves, especially in times like these. We can always handle more protection and good luck. So we're going to be drawing the beetle slowly together one step at a time. And you can see how my beetle that we're going to draw today is just for decoration. It's just for fun. It's not as complicated. It's going to be really easy. So I'm going to draw up here on the board. You guys are going to be drawing on this circle at your table at home. My circle is bigger than yours because I want to make sure you're able to see it. So get ready to draw and we'll do that in just a moment. All right, guys, if you have your circle in front of you, I'm going to open up your Sharpie and put the cap on the back. Of course, you can draw in whatever material you have, a pencil, pen, marker. I'm going to draw right here in this circle. You guys are going to draw in your circle at home. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do, let me get this a little closer to me. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the body of our beetle. And we want to use our whole circle. So what I'd like you to do is start at the top of your circle with a big curving line. Okay, and from that curving line, we're going to do a V shape and a V shape. The next thing I'd like you to do is we're going to draw down to the bottom of our circle. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So if your uh, beetle is not perfectly symmetrical at this point, don't worry, it's not a problem. We're just gonna do the best we can. The next thing we're gonna do is draw a curve and a curve. And here, we're gonna do another curve right across the top. So this is one of the eyes of our beetle, and this is another one. So I'm gonna draw two big circles here, and I'm going to do a border around each circle. So you can do whatever kind of details you want. I'm going to add little circles. You could do circles, stripes, zigzags, whatever you want to do is just fine. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, follow my line there and draw it down the middle. Looks more like an owl right now, but it's going to look like a beetle. So we're going to start adding some lines on this part of our beetle. We're going to bring them all the way down. And because I have some circles, I'm going to add some more circles and you can do the same thing if you want to. You could also do them in a different way. Like I said, any kind of pattern or design is a good idea. So I'm just going to do the best I can. It's okay if it's not perfect. So what we're going to do next are draw the, uh, we're going to draw the legs of our beetle and there are six legs, okay? So you can do them however you want. Just remember this is a piece of jewelry, so it doesn't have to be really like a real beetle. It's kind of a make-believe beetle. And I'm going to do it, uh, the leg coming down. And I'm going to do another one coming down. So I'm going to do this on both sides. And on the legs, I just want to add some details that make it look cool. So I'm going to add some stripes on the bottom of each of the legs. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some of those circles since I have circles on my beetle. I'm going to add a few circles. It's going to just make it look more and more finished. You can do whatever kind of patterns or designs you want. And I think I'll go ahead and finish by adding a few more of these things. So this is something I'm adding. You can do this if you want to. You certainly don't have to. I'm going to put some lines on there. Okay. That looks pretty cool. So, draw on your beetle until it's time to cut it out, and I'm going to do the same thing on my white paper, and then I'm going to show you how to cut that out in just a moment. Okay, guys, so got my beetle on my circle, and now it's time to cut it out. So, what I'd like you to do is pick up your scissors 
And I drew the lines on the outside really dark on this so that it would be really easy to see. And what I just want to say is you just want to cut only the outside edges off. So you see how I cut that off? There's not that much to cut off. Now, if you drew your beetles small, that is fine. Just cut off whatever amount you need to. But if you drew it big and really filled up your circle like I did, you won't have much to cut off at all. So it's just kind of fun. It starts to really come alive here as you cut slowly Oops. and pull these pieces off. So it just takes a moment. Take your time. See how fun that looks. And what's nice about this is if you're going along and you say, well, I don't really want these, this particular part anyway. So remember how we drew these little guys up here? You don't want them, just cut them right off. So it depends on what you do. So this is my scarab beetle. It's looking pretty great. I'm not going to glue him on here today. Remember, we're not using glue, we are using tape. But we're not even going to tape him on here until we've colored this now. So now it's time to use our markers and we're going to color this and we're going to color this. I'm going to do that off camera and then come back and show you my example. And then I'll show you the final steps of putting our necklaces together. All right, guys, I think that just about does it for the coloring part anyway. So here's my example. As you can see, it's nice and colorful. My beetle is also nice and colorful. I use similar colors, but you can use any colors you want. Mr. Dan made a, a necklace. He's working on it, and these are some cool colors, so he just wanted to make sure you saw his example also. So in order to wear your necklace, you need to put the beetle on the front. And I just want to point out to you that this opening where we did the cutting so we could take the center out, that's at the back of your necklace. So the beetle needs to be on the bottom across from that, okay? So straight down from that opening is where your beetle goes. So to do that, I want you to put the beetle on the table in front of you. The colored side is facing down. We're gonna put our necklace on top of the beetle with the opening at the top, also the color side facing down. Now it's time to take our tape. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna tape it on there nice and firm. It could be any kind of tape you have, but use at least two pieces of tape. We want this to be on there really well, nice and sturdy, and voila, we've got our necklace. This is something that is fun to wear. You can put it on, have fun pretending you're an Egyptian, but you can also just wear it anywhere just for fun. Next week, we're going to be making something also this useful, and it is a pair of binoculars made from paper towel rolls. So, I hope you're ready for that, for a new adventure next week. I'll see you then.